on the save as uh, from there you can save but usually what i go i go to export and export as and here you have a couple of options but don't you don't have svg so to fix this uh, problem and by the way from here you can enable transparency or not a smaller file 8 bit or and if you want to change the bit of that file uh, here we have and I can go to 32 bit but now let's go back to export and here now I can change the width the height the scale all right I can change the scale and also of course I can change I want to change the format because maybe I don't want PNG or JPEG jpeg or gif so what i have to do in this case i have to go to edit and here please go to export so i'm going to go to general and then here in export we have use legacy export as all right so make sure you click on ok and now and now we just save this and if i go back to export and export as here i have uh, actually more settings basically so first in format here i have cmg which is that's what i want which is great and now here i have basically more options i can click now on export and that's what i have to do it's great because now basically I have more options and uh, that's that's where I want I want to save in this format and for those that are curious uh, to know what it does this uh, this legacy port this export this use legacy export as is a setting from what i know um adobe photoshop um in uh in uh, 2000 this like thing from 2015 and it's like old uh, it's old version or and this is like helping you to export and save but in a way in a old ways or something like that i think so uh, this is good but you're using kind of like a old setting but in any case this is actually helping us because now we have uh, options uh, more options especially the svg option format 